In this video, you will see how we can print a calendar using Python script. I'm using Visual Studio Code and I already have a file. The file name is calendar.py, cal.py. So using this Python script, I will create a program which can print the calendar. So to do this thing, we have to use on module or package that is called calendar. So at first we need to import that module. We can easily import that module by typing the command import and then calendar. So here I imported the calendar module or package. So once we import this thing, now this calendar, actually we can use it to check whether a year is leap year or not. We can also print some particular month calendar or also uh, we can print the whole 12 months calendar based on the year. Okay, so let's check at first whether a year is leap year or not. So to check the year is leap year or not, what we have to do, we have to type the calendar, then after that we have to use on method. The method name is is leap this method. So I'm going to click here and then after inside it we have to put the, the year. Suppose we have to check whether 2020 is leap year or not. Okay, so we can easily check by this thing. So let's do one thing, let's initialize it in a variable. So we can uh, create a variable like uh, check leap year. I'm just typing on variable check leap year okay so inside it uh, it will initialize this thing and then we can actually print this thing print uh, then or we can print check leap year so it will give us true or false okay if it is true that means that is a leap year if it is false then that is not a leap year so let's run it now so i'm going to execute this thing by uh, pressing this triangle and it is showing true that means this year is leap year now let's check one more thing uh, I mean on more year 2021 whether it is leap year or not so it is telling false so in this way you can easily uh, check whether a year is leap year or not and you can actually print the output based on uh, this thing you can also customize this thing that if it is false then uh, this is not leap year something you can also do okay I'm not going to do this thing okay you can check so uh, in this way you can uh, easily check leap year now let's check uh, how we can uh, print uh, on month's calendar Okay, so we can use the calendar again and then we have to use the month. Okay, month and inside the month we have to uh, tell uh, which year and then uh, the number of the month like integer. Okay, here we are seeing. So here we will put suppose 2020. So like uh, and then after that there is another parameter it is called the month. That means the number of the month. So for example, this month is 8 which is August which is August okay and then we can easily print so we can initialize this thing in a variable this calendar dot month so we can create a variable like uh, variable my cal calendar for example I put the variable name is my calendar okay now we can print it easily this month's calendar so to print it we have to use uh, print method print and inside this print method we have to initialize this my calendar variable my calendar variable and finally uh, let's run it and let's check okay so it is showing that this is the august month and this is showing the calendar of this month if we want to check some other month we can also uh, check like for example 12 okay and then if we run it then it will show us uh, the calendar a month calendar of december okay so in this way you can easily uh, create or print uh, the can a month calendar using python script now our goal was uh, to print all the month's calendar of each year okay so to do this thing what we have to do we can actually again uh, remove this part and then put calendar dot calendar okay and then inside it we have to put the year suppose 2020 we want to print the 2020 calendar okay so once you type this and then we have to press this uh, triangle button to execute and it will show that the 12th month calendar here right so january to december and this is year 2020 is showing like 2020 okay okay so i'm going to delete this thing I'm, and let's check whether it is able to print some other year also not or not so i'm putting 2040 okay then let's run it and if we run it and then again if we expand then we'll see it is able to print uh 2040 calendar very easily okay so that's all guys uh, it is very simple and easy within like two, on two lines you can actually create this calendar and then you can print it so you can also create this thing uh, more proportional by uh, creating a function or method so for that case now we can actually create this thing more 
module race we can create a function or method and then we can call from the main function uh, so that it will execute so let's build a method okay so i'm going to build the method by using uh def keyword and then the method name suppose my method name is my cal calendar for example okay and then we have to pass one parameter suppose the uh year is given year for example just okay then instead it we have to return return uh the calendar right so you can put calendar dot calendar and then the given year given year okay so we don't need this thing we can actually remove this thing and finally uh this is our method right this is our custom method and then uh from the uh program we can actually call uh this method name by uh, typing the my, my calendar and then inside it uh, we have to pass the year suppose the year is 20 22 for example just okay so michael and this one okay now let's run it and check whether it is executing successfully or not so i'm clicking this triangle and we're seeing that it is able to execute okay and if we check the year so it is showing 2022 okay so in this way actually basically by using this small function we can actually create a calendar hopefully guys this video will be useful for you and if this video is uh, useful for you please consider subscribing to our channel thank you for watching see you on the next video